Hi, my name is Haley Hudson. We are at the Hostile Wheel booth at SEMA 2019, and you are watching Custom Offset TV. Hey, what's going on guys? Phil here from Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on YouTube with... Junior. And we are in the Hostile Wheel booth, SEMA 2019, to go over uh, what's new for Hostile this year. So we're gonna kick things off, jumping right into the cast line. So on top here, this one you may think looks kind of familiar because it's very similar to the Alpha, but this is actually called the Omega. It's kind of uh, very, very similar as far as the style goes, but it's gonna be a flat face wheel rather than having all of that uh, concavity that the Alpha has. And then the biggest thing with this wheel as far as sizing goes is they're doing a lot of the larger diameter, smaller width sizing. So this goes up to a 26 by 12, kind of get that big flashy wheel look without going super wide on it. And that kind of seems to be a trend that I think we're gonna be seeing a lot here at SEMA is kind of the, the big wheels, but not going super aggressive because people don't want three quarters of the tires sticking out. So it's kind of going to that luxury look, yes, you know, exactly. where they're really, really large wheel diameters, but not quite as wide. So another thing too, to point out, all of them have the new cap, but we'll just start kind of explaining it. Uh, it's a very small profile. Hostel always has done a really good job with the cap. And then this time they got rid of the sticker and it's actually like, I guess you call it like reverse embossed. Yeah. So the logo stands out from the cap, which is nice. And of course they've got no rivets around the lip. They've got the exposed lugs, everything that everyone's always loved about Hostel. They're continuing to do it and they're also improving on the things that they knew that they could improve on so um jump to the next one yeah so the next one's the vulcan and this is this is actually probably my favorite wheel i really like the all black finish the best yep. um so <laughs> this bad boy if you guys don't know right now the sprocket is hostels probably number one seller out there um rumor has it that this is going to replace the sprocket this year so Kind of a big deal. Um, this wheel's got a lot going on with it. You can kind of see that all of the, they have like the blade cut, which is I think just a finish they call it, but it also kind of seems to be the way that the spokes kind of go. Yeah. It's just got that hostile look on the spokes. So they kind of taper to a point and everything like that, which makes them look thinner. It's really, really clean milling too. Like you don't see a lot of the yeah. mill marks. That's where the, the blade cut name kind of comes from. It's very, very smooth. And it's also tapered in, which like you said, makes the spokes look thinner because as you get to the edge, it actually goes down to probably just like three or four millimeters as far as the flat surface goes. Black painted milling and then the exposed milling uh, Not to as mention well. it's also concave as well then. And these sizes, so the beauty of SEMA is a lot of these will come to the market and vendors will check these out, exhibitors will check these out and give their input and they'll be like, I need this wheel in a 26 by 16, yeah. I need this wheel in 24 16. And the companies will listen to that and they'll take that into consideration when they actually produce and make these wheels then. So a lot of these sizes that you're seeing could be or could not be, and even the models could or could not be a final product that you'll see in three months. Which available. we'll kind of dive into when we hop into the Ford yeah. stuff too. But we also want to talk about probably the biggest thing happening for Seam, uh, for <laughs> Hostile in SEMA 2019. Was that a pun because it's a 26 by 16? Yes, it is. yes, we can <laughs> so, play that off. Yeah, uh, this is the Dagger, and this is probably my favorite wheel that Hostile has this year, personally. This one. Not this one, this yes, one. this one, and then the chrome one. This one. Um, it is a true directional wheel. It has no ridge between the spokes, so the lip looks like it goes back forever. They've been doing that for a while now. You can see that back on a lot of their older styles as well, that they kind of have the endless lip going on there. Um, the sizes go all the way up to 26 by 16, which is something new that Hostel's doing. So um, as of a couple months ago, 2616 is a new size they're introducing, which is huge. Yeah, literally, it's huge. Yeah. It's, it's huge as far as like, it's very important and it's huge as actual size. And I think we kind of breezed over it too, but you heard us say that these are true directional, which means you're actually getting a left and a right so that you can have true directional cast wheels. There are more and more companies kind of branching off into that. Uh, last year there was like, basically none and now this year there's a handful of them yep. hostile is one of those they only have one style like that for now uh, with plans to release more probably mid 2020 if we're lucky they want to do a mid-season release so that'll be kind of cool to see from them uh, right next to it is the jigsaw which you've seen before three years ago this was a forged wheel and now they're making it in a cast wheel uh, i think they had a cast last year too I yep. saw. which and is a perfect example of what sema is you know it came out as a forged wheel it did well as a forged wheel and they brought it into the cast market as well so that one's here and this actually has their old center cap as well so we'll get you some comparisons between the new and the old um, it just it looks a lot cleaner with the new one. I'm very yeah. much a fan of what they're doing this year for uh, 2019 into 2020. So then let's jump to the forged wheels and we'll slide down next to these. So we'll start first with the Tomahawk because the other one's way too exciting. We got we to hold off for that. Um, as typical fashion you see on a forged wheel, it's a very flat, 
face. There's a lot of cool details going on here with all of the millwork. Uh, and then an important thing too is Hostel is giving billet caps with every uh, forged wheel. So you don't have to pay extra for that. There's some companies that charge like 600 to $1,000 to get billet aluminum caps. The Hostel forged line comes with the billet caps. And they have a new logo on them too now. Yep, new logo on those as well. And they're a two piece. So if you are the guy that still runs manual locking hubs, you can do that. Or if you want to like for some reason paint them or something, you can. There's really not a lot to talk about no. this one. And then sizes on these are pretty much gonna range from 20 by 12 all the way up to 26, 16. Um, basically anything you want, they can make. That's how forged wheels are. They can basically see and see anything you want. Yeah. Let's jump to this one, because this is this my one's favorite exciting. forged one. This one's super cool. So this one doesn't have a name. Um, they're debating on calling it the Savage as of right now, but honestly, by the time this video is edited and goes up, it could have a different name or it could not even be made at all. Um, so this one came to SEMA this year as an introductory to kind of see, get, like gauge the market and see if people like it to then go into production. Yeah. They're talking about calling it the Savage, but it's not necessarily the name they're gonna go with. Um, but you need a name to kind of talk about it with. So that's where they're at on this one right now. And like this is probably so the thin. only wheel like this is the only hostile forge savage in existence right now and that's like what yeah. SEMA is is testing the market to see what people think so I know I really like it because of how thin those spokes are it's insane. and it's, especially in this size too it's what I would say a little bit more busy as far as design goes but in these big sizes you get the huge windows yep, which I agree. just look really 100%. nice and the beauty of it being a forge wheel is that you can go super thin with the spokes and not like compromise the structural integrity of the wheel so you see that these are thin you'll see we're in love with them but we're also not afraid to run them because yeah. you know this wheel is a lot stronger there's more like there's a lot of science that goes into it there's a lot of like density pressure stuff more structure, thinner spokes, it's awesome. We won't bore you with that, but we do want to take a look at something else that's new for Hostel this year, but it's way over there, so we gotta go this way. So obviously, as you can see, Hostel UTV, they are branching out into the UTV market, which is pretty exciting. We're not gonna spend a whole lot of time on it, but did want to just show you the sizes and styles. So 15 by seven, 15 by eight, and 15 by 10, which is really, really wide. You can see that it's a lot of the same styles that they have in their cast lineup right now. You've got your Venom, um, some of the other styles and stuff that they have. I love the finishes they have. This gray looks awesome. Yeah. Bronze is always a super hot one, I feel like, in the ATV world yeah. as well, and then you're black, but... I guess one thing to note, too, is these are all simulated beadlock yeah. uh, wheels. They're not actually true beadlocks. They do have plans to potentially release one if uh, the market asks for it. So if you guys have UTVs that you put in the back of your trucks and you want to get your uh, hostile UTV wheels to match your regular hostile wheels, I think that'd be pretty freaking slick. And if you guys have any uh, suggestions or comments, make sure to drop them below because, I mean, they're listening, we're listening. It's all just for you guys. So yep. that's their cast lineup, forge lineup, and UTV lineup for you guys from the Hostel booth here at SEMA 2019. When it comes to Hostel too, they usually get us data right away. So we'll try to toss some links in the description if you want to check out the Hostel wheels that we currently have, plus all of these. They'll be on the website at customoffsets.com. We'll put the links in the description so you can find all that. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Peace.